Good stretch, Loco. Trailbreaker Kennels was established by my wife, Susan Butcher, and myself in the late 1970s, and it's been a sled dog racing kennel for 30 years. Susan won the Iditarod four times, and I won the Yukon Quest, and so we had a very successful kennel. Originally, we lived out in Eureka, which is near Manly Hot Springs. When we had children, we had to, or wanted to, move into Fairbanks, and so we built our house in Fairbanks, but we found a place where we could bring the dogs. <laughs> this house is based on the idea of the cabins that we lived in. What we like to say is, uh, what room do you spend the most time in? And the answer is always the kitchen. That's where you have breakfast, that's where you go open the refrigerator, that's where everybody sits around the table and talks. And that's the same thing in a cabin. You have one room, primarily, of course, all the activity takes place in that one room. It's a log structure using uh, traditional building techniques. All the trusses in it, they all hold the roof. It uh, is, is more like the structures we would have had in our homestead. We have a floor that's made of rough cut uh, fur. It's cut in different widths, so it's much like the planks that they would use on old buildings that were built around the turn of the century. You can see the saw marks on the wood. It's very comfortable and not too pretentious. We have some beautiful photos of Susan. There's a picture in our stairway that is taken of Susan in the mid uh, Mid 80s, at the height of our racing career, you can see how her pants are tattered. And what that is from is going in and feeding puppies because puppies always grab your pants and are pulling at them when you're trying to feed them. Also, our great lead dog, Granite, who won the Iditarod four times, is in the picture. And so he's looking very dignified. This painting that you see behind us is called Into the Home Stretch. The pastel colors that are so prominent in our winters here really show up in the painting. And also, when you look at it, you see the dog team, and when they say into the home stretch, it means that the dogs sense that they're close to home and they're speeding up and they're into the home stretch. We've had it for many, many years now, and I never get tired of looking at it. It's one of the possessions that means the most to me.